Hi, this is Mrs. B, and today I'm going to show you how to prepare a wet mount going from a plate, and we're going to run through the gram staining procedure. You have table directions in your lab book and on your lab bench. First thing you need is a clean glass slide. You should have one in your slide box. You need to label your glass slide. Whenever you're doing staining on the left-hand side of the slide, you want to put your three initials the name of your organism or the letter of the plate that you're taking your specimen from. And then if you want, you can put a small, like one centimeter circle on the back of the slide just to help you find where your smear is located. Since we are taking bacteria from a plate, we need to get a loop full of water onto our slide. In your kit, you have an Eppendorf tube full of water. We're gonna go ahead and practice using a septic technique. We're gonna flame our loop from the base to the tip. That inner cone is the hottest part of the flame. Go ahead and just get one loop full of water, place it in the center of your circle. We're gonna go ahead and sterilize our loop once again from the base the tip, hottest part of the flame, let it glow, microbiology is fun. And then we're gonna go into our plate. We wanna do this aseptically, so you use the lid as a shield, you never take the lid off and set it on the lab bench. And we wanna take the youngest cells, so you always take those from the edge of the colony. If your colony is very small, you can take the whole colony. So I'm gonna go into my plate and I'm just gonna take the edge of this colony and I'm gonna stir that into that small drop of water. And spread that out. Then you need to re-sterilize your loop from the base to the tip. And remember, you need to let your slide air dry. Once your slide has air dried, notice there's just a slight film on them. They're not super thick. Go ahead and take your clothespin, and we have to heat fix this. You do this just by passing it through the flame three times. One, two, three. Remember, this is to heat up the slide to coagulate the proteins so our smear won't come off the glass slide while we're staining. The Graham stain is the most widely used differential stain. Two stains are going to be used. The first stain is called the primary stain and that's crystal violet. So we are gonna flood our smears with crystal violet and allow it to sit for one minute. Okay. Once your stain has sat on your slide for a minute, we're gonna gently rinse it with water. You just tap your slide to get off the excess. The next step is to add a mordant, which is going to be Graham's iodine. You're gonna cover your smear. What the iodine is going to do, it's gonna form a crystal violet iodine complex that's gonna get trapped inside of the Graham positive cells. You allow the mordant to sit on your smear for one minute. Once you are mordant, the iodine has sat on your smear for one minute. We're going to rinse it gently with water. The next step is decolorization, and it's probably the most critical step in doing a gram stain. Our decolorizer is ethanol, and what you're trying to do, you just want to add enough decolorizer till the purple runs clear. So I'm gonna add just drop by drop. Just drop by drop till you no longer see purple running on the other side. Then you need to rinse off your decolorizer. Tap off the excess.
Once we've rinsed off our decolorizer, our gram-positive cells are purple, but our gram-negative cells are colorless, so we need to add the counter stain. Our counter stain is safranin. So go ahead and flood your smear with the safranin. You're gonna let this sit for one minute. The last thing you need to do is you need to rinse off your secondary counter stain, the safranin, and you rinse it off using water, just gently. Tap the excess, and then we're gonna blot it with bibulous paper. So go ahead and just remove one sheet. Place your slide on the bibulous paper, and then just blot it gently to dry. Once your slide is dry, it's ready to view.